Hi, I'm Richard Burdick of the Natural Resources Conservation Service. We're up here in northern Utah today. We're going to be talking with Shane Holmgren on a place he calls the Bar H Ranch. He just installed a brand new center pivot. He has plans for two more center pivots and hopes to increase his forage production. His dad and grandfather before him participated in conservation effort to improve this property. Hi, I'm Shane Holmgren with the Bar H Ranch. We've been trying to improve this ranch for over the last 10 years by uh, building fences, creating more pastures. We've run more water lines and whatnot, and, and uh, we've, we've went from having two pastures to now we're up to 20 pastures. We're starting to really see a big difference on what's, what's happening with the work we've been doing. So, How do you think other farmers learn about uh, or accept the challenges of taking care of the land? Um, and uh, do they learn from other farmers? Do they get recommendations from the conservationists? Uh, how does this happen on your land? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Just by uh, word of mouth, talking to uh, friends and neighbors and whatnot that are uh, involved in different programs. And sometimes it might be at the local coffee shop or, or stopping into the office and just visiting with the folks in there to find out what, what programs are available. And, and uh, it's, a, it's always a good help to just visit with one another and find out what's going on. So. How did you get your property? Is this something that you've inherited? Is this something you went out and bought? Is this something that's been in the family for a lot of years? It's, it's, I inherited it. It's been, it's been uh, in our family for over the past hundred years. And uh, it's been passed down from generation to generation. And I'm fortunate enough to continue on the legacy that my grandfathers have, have put in front of me and uh, hopefully I can do the same for my children and grandchildren. What would you uh, like to have your grandchildren or your great-grandchildren say about uh, you know, how, you, how you farmed your land? Hopefully they can look back at, at some of the practices that I've, I've put forth and, and realize what I've, I've tried to accomplish and make it a better place for them as well. and, and uh, They'd be appreciative of what, what's been handed down to them as well. When you come out here, what do you like to see when you just cruise across the farm? You know, the, the deer, is the birds, what's your favorite? Thing? I like seeing the birds, uh, the, the ducks and the geese. We, uh, we also raise pheasants and release on our place uh, for, for hunting purposes. And I enjoy seeing the expansion of the pheasants growing out here. Salinity has been a real high factor in what we've been trying to accomplish out here. Uh, we've, we've come up with a, a couple different plans to try to, to make the, the salts a little better. We've been involved in uh, uh, CRP programs, uh, CSP programs, uh, other equip programs as well. I have two sons, my wife, my daughter, all uh, take take part of everything we do out here. We have uh, one employee that helps us out. Uh, just always trying to be productive in the best way we, we could be uh, with, with every bit of ground that we had. Uh, if it was uh, to raise a cow or any crops or anything, we'd always try to, to do the, the very best we could uh, at all times. What's your vision in the next 50 years? Uh, hopefully greener grass and and more cattle and more farming.